finally finished my master bedroom and I am loving it. <laughs> to find out where I found this furniture as well as the other cool stuff, stay tuned. Hey, good people. Welcome to Mommy Room Redo, a show created to help you moms design homes that you'll love and your kids will enjoy. In this video, we'll share the results of a master bedroom furniture poll. And I'll also tell you what set I actually selected when I renovated my master bedroom after a toilet leak. Let's get started. All right, so we moved into our beautiful home in 2020. It checked off all the boxes and um, I was very excited about our move and I think the kids were too. So the former owner had some really wonderful designs and her master bedroom was particularly attractive. She had the upholstered queen bed, the two mirrors on either side, which I had never seen before. So uh, she really gave me some interesting ideas on how I should redesign my own master bedroom. Of course, once I moved in, then reality set in and I was busy redesigning the kids' rooms, working, and dealing with all the other things that comes with being a solo mom. So my master bedroom really was put on the back burner. That was until I realized I needed a space to host my oldest son's high school graduation party and what better space than my storage room? So I had the carpet removed. I put down some hardwoods and um, had it painted and voila, transformed it into the perfect space for my son's graduation party. Everyone was pretty wowed and it really looked amazing. Of course, after the festivities were over, I was back to my empty master bedroom. Finally narrowed it down to two manufacturers. On the left, option A is the Cavalier set, which I absolutely loved and thought it would go great with the rest of my furniture. And then on the left was a very nice upscale high-end manufacturer called Bernhardt. And I found that when I went to Hickory Furniture Mart, I absolutely fell in love with it, but I couldn't decide between the two sets. So I put it to a vote on Facebook and YouTube and the results are in. You selected the Bernhardt Criteria bedroom set and I agreed. There was just one change. I substituted the Criteria Queen bed for this Cooper bed, still by Bernhard, but I was able to customize the fabric, switch out the nail heads, and it was still a whole lot cheaper. And then disaster struck. <laughs> a toilet leak required us to remodel pretty much the entire downstairs so we had to replace the floors repaint everything get new fixtures in some cases so it really was a major rehab and here are the results all right so that cooper bernhard upholstered queen bed with the 68 inch headboard looks really upscale yet modern Got that from Goods Home Furnishings located at the Hickory Furniture Mart. As a native New Yorker, I couldn't resist the Macy's New York City reversible eight-piece comforter set featured on bradsdeals.com. 
Guys, I got this for only $40. Then up top, check out that New York City Skyline canvas. Got that from Wayfair, also from Wayfair. Check out those four crystal sconces by Rosedorf Park. They coordinate nicely with the center chandelier and they really add glamour and sparkle. And you'll see that I copied off of the former owner of the house by putting up those two mirrors on either side of the bed. Love that. The good news is that I didn't have to buy mirrors because I got that from the bathroom upstairs where the former owner had those. I had them repainted and they look perfect. On top of the canvas, you'll see a rechargeable picture light that you can easily operate with a remote. Got that from Amazon. Also, look to your right, you'll see that bench. You may remember that from the foyer area. I pulled that in here because there should always be a sitting area in your master bedroom. Love those burn hard criteria nightstands, as well as the matching dresser located on the opposite side of the room. Got those pieces from hayneedle.com, an online retailer owned by Walmart. The three metal wall hangings were originally in the dining room and they were left by the previous owner, but I relocated them here and I think they make a great touch. Got that vintage steel oak luxury vinyl flooring from Lowe's and they also installed it. And there you have it, my renovated master bedroom. So. What do you think? Do you like the bedding? How do you feel about the flooring? How about that bench over there? Do you think it fits in? How about my choice of the New York City theme? I want to hear from you. Put your thoughts down in the comments and we'll talk about it in an upcoming video. Thanks for tuning in and please like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Take care.